Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler section. Um, so, this film, uh, what does it start with? Uh, the girl. The girl. With, no, yeah. well, no, with it starts with Claire, who's in this world. Yeah, go ahead. News so report. So, it's a news report. You see all these animals or all these dinosaurs living with society, and then you get different kinds of shots like that. And, and none of that would work. <laughs> you see a T Rex there actually yeah. attacking a bus. They and would then, have just killed all these oh, dinosaurs. Yeah. I mean, one thing happens, and then we all try to, except for a certain thing in the United States. But when one thing happens, we usually try to rally together. It's like, okay, we can allow this no more, <laughs> right? But but here, it's like, no, they are animals. Fuck, man, the dinosaurs out there. Uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, don't go out at night. Really? Really? <laughs> don't go to work downtown because there's there are fucking dinosaurs that will pick you up for no reason and throw you and kill you. <laughs> Um, now I we gotta wanted do to that. see that. <laughs> that I would have <laughs> paid <right>. to see. <laughs> yeah, that, wasn't that the Lost World where the dra- the the, the fucking T Rex comes Ate into the dog. in the yeah. suburbia? Anyways, anyway, yeah. So uh, y- you get all these TV things, and then it's Claire, and she's she's doing the the, the old team from the last film. You got the nerd guy. You got. Um, Claire and I forgot her name. So whoever and somebody else, and they're like, we can't do this anymore, Claire. They rescue this cute little uh, Stegosaurus, and they're like, I always, you know, can't do this anymore. And he gets a job conveniently at the CIA. So time passes. They're in a cabin. They're like, are you still with uh, that that Owen guy? I'm like, oh my god, why are they still dragging this out? But no, they're not dragging it out. They are together. And they got the cabin, and they're kind of acting like uh, the parents to the clone girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's like my god the level of writing so we we see the girl at the uh, at the cabin and then out of nowhere this guy is shown on screen he's like on horseback the first time we see him or something and the movie literally goes dun 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 and i'm not fucking kidding like the the fucking score is different yeah. it's like <laughs> <laughs> I was like All right, well, he's indicating to the fucking stupid ass audience the film thinks you're a fucking a idiot. I want to use a different word, but you know you can't. So no, it's uh no, it it's like it's that's the level of writing here. This is the bad guy, and he's gonna fight. So he kidnaps. At eventually, this guy kidnaps her. Blue is just conveniently, you know, living near him, but he doesn't really. They don't have that great of a relationship, him and Owen. Uh, but Owen, but at some point, the these evil guys capture not only his daughter but also Blue. We have to have Blue has a child. Two kidnapped. So the the woman get, can kidnaps. give birth. <laughs> these women, because not only is it revealed that Blue can do it, but also the clone girl is not actually a vat clone, but rather a born from herself, her mother. Immaculate conceptioned her, but also genetically enhanced her. Yes. Uh, to not die because her mother died from so kind of just breaking down or something. or something. And uh, so that's when Owen promises to uh, Blue, who comes over to about to kill him and kill her. Where the fuck's my child? And you know, and he's like, I will, I'll I will get her back. Get her we'll back. save your baby. And, and, and Blue Blue's says, like, I right, appreciate I that. Thank, Thank you English. very much. I will return in approximately three days. If yeah. you do not have my child, I will um, call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back my son. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? Somebody take over. I, uh, I and then we get to it. the grasshoppers. I don't, I don't uh, do we it. go to a farm. Yes. And, oh, uh, in Texas. It was West the, Texas. I was like, sweet. Yeah. Texas. Uh, and there's a swarm of locusts, and they're eating all the wheat. You're like, this big. Uh, and <laughs> sorghum and all the other things that we grow down here in the great state of Texas. And they're, they're giant. They're not, like, they're not normal-sized locusts. I mean, they, they, these things are like, uh, you know, like bulldog size. They're fucking huge. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're eating everything. And they've got but only wheat from independent growers. Now, you would think that that means something. has nothing to do with this whole movie. Not it, one part of well, this whole movie. Yeah, it does. I mean, the, the biosync or whatever, biosys created these in order as another plan to control the world's food supply, yeah. which is nothing to, okay, but we're, we're, nothing we're, to do with Jurassic but Park. But nothing to do with that or it, what ends up happening. In the, it just, yeah. like, just goes nowhere. And you're like, oh, cool. Is that where we're going? I'm like, no, it's not. It's like, oh, okay. And then Ellie Statler, uh, Laura Dern, shows up, and she is uh, the locust expert, as you know. 
because she studied uh, plants. Yeah. Uh, prehistoric plants. Oh, no, no, no. It was locusts. Pre- uh, you just, that was her f- side project. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then so she shows up and then they capture one of them. And I mean, mm-hmm. again, this thing's fucking huge. And so she's going to go in and she's going to break into the evil corporation because she thinks that they did this on purpose. But first she goes to Sam. So yes, uh, and so uh, dig and yeah. he's doing Alan is sitting Alan, over there rather, and he's trying right. his hardest. And, his, and for me, I don't know if you guys noticed, but his fucking Irish accent is like trying to come out at every single second, <laughs> and it's really weird. It's like normally he's so great in all these things, but it, it, he felt like he was struggling with I, his accent. I didn't notice. Uh, that. And then they team up, and then they go, and then the movie ends. And uh, <laughs> you can't do that. What? How could you fucking do that? There are so many moments. There's so I many can't even the remember moments. them all. I, I'm I'm literally overloaded. So with Ian the Malcolm works at Biosyn. Thankfully, it's Ian Malcolm, and he works there. That's contrivance, you know, number yeah. 45 so far in the movie. Mm-hmm. And he invites them because Ian knows that Biosyn did do the Dino DNA and the locusts. And so he invites those two over there, and they they fly over there. And yeah. then we cut back to, to Malta, the other one. and they're they're the the give me back my son people are trying to find this girl. And the, <laughs> the trade-off was going to be done in Malta. And they hook up with another person from the last movie, conveniently, mm. who is now part of the uh, fr- uh, the French uh, <laughs> intelligence, fortunately. The guy that you hated. Yeah. Yep. And then There's plugs no them in. The and He's like, they, I found him. Here you go. Here's all the information that you needed. Oh. Okay, <laughs> but before we do that, we have a subplot where the kidnappers are led by this lady in white. She's like a mysterious assassin mercenary lady, and they go to an underground... I don't know where they're at. Malta. Malta. And they go to this underground world where you can sell dinosaurs or eat dinosaur meat and all this other shit. And hijinks ensue uh, there. They try to do the handoff, and it gets fucked up, and Chris Pratt and Claire uh, literally turn into a secret agent's Fast and Furious... Uh, you know, gun battle style where we're, you know, we're released the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs eat everybody. Literally, there's a guy, and then they get put into the pit. You know, he's like trying to knife fight some guy, uh, you know, all in with one of these mercenary dudes. And then a dinosaur shows up and eats that guy. But as he's eating the guy, you know, Does there's other people, there's other dinosaurs eating other people. And then he gets on the phone and he's like, all right, while the dinosaur is done eating the dude and he doesn't he attack. He told me the information. So many so different he's got, the, he's got plot armor. He and can't he die. He, yeah, he can't die. 50 so bajillion times. Now they know that the girl and Blue's baby are going to Biosyn in Italy. Yeah, uh, but then we have another new character uh, who is a pilot. Uh, Kyla Ooh. Watts. Uh, a former yes. Air Force pilot who aids Owen and Claire on their mission. She's tough as nails. She, she only works for money except she, for when she likes your cause. She and transported then... the Blue Raptor, and she gets her money, and she notices, a little, what's the story with the little girl? It's like, uh, you don't business. need to know that. Mind your business. And then she's like, she feel, has a feels bad. bad. Feeling. Yeah. Yeah. She's and she it just help. so happens that when they have their <laughs> underground mission, they're both at the same spot, and they both go into the ladies' room, and Claire is like... And have you seen this like, girl? Yeah. It's like, actually, oh. I have. <laughs> 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 Never have. Don't get out of here. No, I can't get out of here. I'm looking for this girl. Have you seen this girl? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. And then, oh, will you help me? Okay. Uh, no, I will not help you. And then, okay, I Until will Until she's you. falling off a building, and then, and then she, she helps her. She catches her. She runs um, through this whole city, and then she happens so to be the, like, the, that lady's We forgot, falling. yeah, that when the dinosaurs got loose, uh, this lady in white has this laser pen, and she can point the laser pen at you, and the... the the raptors will go after you because they're trained military, I guess, from the last <laughs> film or whatever. And uh, I don't fucking know. And they're like and cats. Claire, basically, they're I'm cats. not. I'm not joking. Claire outruns raptors on the rooftops of where? Malta. Malta. She she is parkour. outrunning parkour. Parkour, and she is performing parkour. And I'm like, what the fuck? These are the same raptors that are eventually running 80 miles per hour. I was just about to say that. When they're (laughs) in a motorcycle chase, it's like, what? So then the motorcycle chase happens from the, uh, you know, trailer that you saw. These, those were the same raptors that Claire was able to outrun, but somehow, uh, they are running faster than their car now. When, when later on Some Owen shows up just in time to save this, <laughs> just in time. Did I mention just in time? Did I mention later on in the film just in time? This thing happens. 
I'm so tired of even talking about it. Um, but yeah, they they escape. Uh, the the they get the mercenary lady. They they got the previous wrangler. Owen meets his uh, la- his previous partner, who is now an agent. He's a French too. French agent. French agent. And uh, they, um, as they're trying to ra- wrangle the mercenaries, they release the raptors. And his friend is being targeted. And so he, he shows up just in time to save his friend. And then uh, they get the mercenary lady. She surrenders. And Not as before. she's surrendering, she slowly moves her hands. And it's like, please don't move your hands. But he doesn't say anything. And then she laser points on uh, oh, and- Oh, and then that's how we get the chase sequence started. So this is all <laughs> garbage. This is all like, what are what are we doing? Um, <laughs> they we're doing Fast and the Furious. We're doing Spy. Yeah, because at that point, Jason Bourne. That's what people were. T- tell me, what is this this comment that you guys were reading? Ah, like this is the could... best fucking movie since Jesus. This is like the most amazing film that they've ever. Oh, seen. Oh, it combines it, all the best parts of Star Wars and the Jason Bourne identity Bourne. <laughs> and. It's like wow. I'm so <laughs> glad that this was well put together film. It was beautifully shot, decently paced, had a good balance of story, character focus, and of course action. It felt like Jurassic Park meets Born Identity with a twist of Indiana Jones and even a bit of Star Wars at times. Did we see the wrong movie? I think we went to the wrong film. <laughs> <I think so. laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> ten yeah. out of ten. I don't know. That, that move th- we, for them, we, this movie's going to get Star Wars. What I wouldn't give what? to erase the 500 films that I've seen in my head and all the time as I was a critic and just fucking turn my brain off and just be entertained for two and a half you hours. You could forget how to breathe if you turn your brain <laughs> off to that level. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, I think I'm supposed to be doing something I right don't now. Know. <laughs> so then, uh, while. Claire is doing parkour. The pilot lady just so happens to see her and just so happens to make the decision to help her. To steal and a truck. She just so happens to steal the truck and she just so happens down, to know how to break into go. the truck. Just so happens to fall into the truck and just so happens to outrun the raptors. And then she gets to her plane and uh, they're waiting for um, Owen to show up. And he just so happens to escape the raptors, and they're she's taking, taking off, the plane, off, and he jumps in. Owen is just That's so fierce. happens to make <laughs> it, uh, but a raptor actually ends up in the plane. So you know, I guess this is this is the part of the film where I felt it was like Mission Impossible. <laughs> I can see people yeah. doing that. They're, <laughs> sitting in, they're sitting in a theater chair. Some day. <laughs> dun, 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 like, I remember dun, dun. that like, part. What the fuck? Okay, anyway, so then the raptor fucking falls out of the plane because the goddamn uh, bike slams into it. And then she's like, where, where are you headed? Where do I, where do I take you? <laughs> you want Italy. Yeah, you and he's like, let's go to Biosyn. And she's like, oh, But she just so happens to be a Biosyn approved vendor because you can't get in there unless you're a Biosyn approved yeah, vendor. Because airspace. And then she really calls in and they go, well, it's an older code, but it checks out. Um, and then they let her in. That's where the Star Wars This is Wars what this in. movie is. Simultaneously, we're having all this uh, Lord Dar- Dar- Dern and Sam, uh, you know, are investigating grasshoppers. Are investigating grasshoppers <laughs> and doing all this side plot with the locust shit. And the scientist is like uh, uh, telling us about the, this immaculate birth and how he can use uh, all this DNA to uh, fix the locust. Not, not to do what the previous guy was going to do, which was cure cancer and cure all these diseases. No, he just wants to reverse the mistake with the locust. we need food. I guess. Yeah, we need food. <laughs> and I guess maybe they'll use all that other they stuff They released later. a biblical plague on the earth. And he's like, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's like, yeah, asshole. Um, and, you know, we visit Jeff Goldblum, who uh, is giving a speech to all these young people working there, and he's trying to get in their heads, like, the, you have tremendous responsibility. He's like the contrarian to the, you know, uh, fucking religious zealot. Not religious, but just as, a, you know, CEO crazy guy. Um, and he tolerates his presence and stuff. So he gives them security access. Why does Jeff Goldblum has security access to all the top secret shit down in the eighth basement? I don't fucking know, but they go they go down there. <laughs> they <laughs> turn into secret agents and go down there and uh, try to capture one of the fucking uh, locusts. And uh, while that happens, we also have our other subplot going where the pilot finally, sh- they fly over the island, but they don't allow them to land because the ADS system is, is on, so they turn off the ADS to system. To kill them. 
and what what does that do? Well, it allows the pterodactyls and all the flying creatures to fuck up planes because they, they just hate the noise, I guess. So it rips up the plane uh, in midair, and so they give uh, Owen gives the single parachute to uh, Claire, and this pilot lady's okay She's with like, it. She's like, I'm ready to die. Yeah, right, let's fucking die. And then we get that scene, and he's like, the parachute will open. I know we were just attacked by all these flying creatures, and you'd be sit a sitting duck if you had a parachute and you were slowly descending to uh, the ground. But this is going to save you. So then she exits. She should have been murdered. And then he slams in. The plane slams into uh, the frozen side of the lake. mountain, uh, into a frozen lake. And then the they pterodactyls murdered. come after her, and they tear apart her parachute. Uh -huh. They don't touch her. because No, no, just the parachute. Armor. Just, just fuck, the parachute. fuck your parachute. And then like she has a backup parachute. parachute. <laughs> and then she pops a parachute. But then she gets stuck on the fucking uh, tree. And then another creature, this time uh, more pure dinosaur DNA, uh, shows up and it's blind and it's eating. It 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 sees a deer and it's like fuck off deer. And this is the other villain. So there's three. There's multiple villains. This is the bird villain. Um, this is Stabby McKnife hands. Stabby McKnife hands f says to the deer, "Fuck off." Doesn't eat the deer because no. it's not a fucking you know. No, fuck you. Exactly. It's a herbivore. So it, uh, but it also wants to kill her because it. I don't know. It kills things. It's just a dick. So it's just He's a just fucking an dick. Asshole. Yeah. <laughs> it's an asshole. And tries. So that's when we get our Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of thing where she goes into the fucking mud and, and the lagoon and hides just underwater. And I was like, see, this scene in a greater fucking movie would be great. We're getting the dinosaur stuff. This is the kind of stuff we wanted. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, fucking the uh, the plane crash. Uh, we see an image of the plane completely submerged or half submerged in the water, but they bust out I, the top. ice water by the way which I, is which is funny because it's you can tell it's filmed in a stage because there's no breath coming off of any of them sure. even when they fall into a frozen right. lake yeah. no one's shivering no. or cold no. and they stay wet the entire time so and he's just sitting there like no. they get out and uh, as soon as they step on the lake this plane who has slammed into the motherfucking lake at full speed uh he pre he puts his foot and it's the ice starts cracking Wow, how fragile is this ice? He's got heavy there's boots. literally a plane that <laughs> slammed in at 300 miles an hour. You think he's going to die? <laughs> the lake would have already shattered. But okay, so then, and as they try to make it across, uh, he realizes she's in the uh, Air Force and he's in the Navy. Then out of nowhere, hey, I don't know if this is a bad time, but I'm here to eat you guys. <laughs> <laughs> then you got another the, the feathered raptor comes around. Up. It's and, like, come on, man. And then that feather raptor goes onto the ice, and he's like, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> I'm, I am not a herbivore. I am a carnivore. And uh, He says that. Yeah, he does. Uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't work. The raptor does it to Chris Pratt, actually. Instead, and he, Chris Pratt's like, oh, shit, I don't know what to been, do. That would have been much That's my only stuff. move. That's the mutual respect between beasts. He explains it later, because oh, I was like, yeah. how do you explain this? It's a mutual respect between beast and human. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. Anyways, you'd think the raptor would give up when the whole lake starts to collapse, but no, the raptor's like, nah, fuck this. I'm going to go underwater and potentially kill myself in order to try to kill you. Um Pretty good swimmer. Yeah, yeah. so then uh, she, they, they just say, fuck this, and they start running. And she makes it across, but Chris Pratt breaks through the ice, and l he's literally completely submerged. And the dinosaur uh, conveniently does not attack him. He's got a kill shot right there. Circles around him because plot armor again, just like the fucking parachute. But then the <laughs> dinosaur comes back, this time to attack him. And his entire... He is submerged in the water about seven feet She's deep. strong. She's strong. And he is completely submerged, and all of a sudden, he is lifted completely out of the water. Andre the Giant probably couldn't fucking lift him out that far. Andre Maybe, maybe Andre the only one. We, we will not. Yeah, is we, the only we, love one. On, we love Andre. Yeah, we love Andre the Giant. She was He's in the, the Air Force, one. okay? He fucking, she fucking Super lifts him fast. up so goddamn fast and completely out of the water and saves his ass. Do you see these kinds of things? That kind of shit happens Three times every five minutes, every 10 minutes. I'll, I'll give you three times every 15 minutes. Yes. Okay. So they, they make it out. And uh, meanwhile, the fucking locusts are uh, disturbed by the base. It's put on high alert because all this shit is happening. Um, 
then the locusts go crazy. Well, yeah, and while, start attacking. while the two, the class, the two normal, Alan. Al- yeah, Alan and, and, and Ellie are trying to collect locust DNA, and just so happens at that exact moment is when they crash landed, even though they're unrelated. Yeah. And they, the locusts go crazy and start attacking them, but they got the DNA and they get out of there. And yeah. And, and then ju- it just so happens that the daughter had escaped by unleashing Beta. Uh, because it just so happens that one of the bracelets was on the table. So she uses the bracelets to unleash uh, Beta, which gives her distraction to run through the hall of this massive base. And it just so happens that she was in the same hallway with, uh, uh, you know, yeah, Dr. Alan Grant. Grant. And it just so happens that, that she, uh, you know, is there. And, and they, they recognize they each other. other. Well, she probably knows him from, oh, my my dad's. You know, was the partners with the professor that you know. And, and it just so happens that Ellie was really good friends with her mother, mm-hmm. even though we didn't know yeah, any of that stuff. It's like, man, what the so fuck is wrong so with she this trust movie? them magic. completely. I can tell you guys aren't from here. And they're like, yeah, you can tell that. And then it's like, let's get out of here. So then they, they are running. And then. Uh, but they get caught by the communications director that was leading him around the uh-huh. whole time. But it just so when happens. Go, it just so happens they, that he was actually the, on their side the whole time. He says, do you have the DNA? And they say, yes, we do. <laughs> and he, he's like, well, I thought we were doing this because Jeff Goldblum told us to. He's like, who do you think ta- told Jeff Goldblum? I did. Is it just so happens that he was the son of Samuel L. Jackson. He's really yeah. pissed off because... <laughs> <laughs> no, that didn't happen. But uh, at a moment in the film, he's staring at the CEO, and the CEO's like, man, we got to restart this whole thing. Come on with me. And I thought he was. I thought that shit was going to happen because it just so happens. Yeah, yeah, he should have been like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh, you ran over my dog. dog. <laughs> it just so happens dumb. that the CEO, while he's running, has the shaving cream. It's just <laughs> the same shit. That, they stored it in the same shape. Mm-hmm. Anyways. They found it uh, So, hold on. You <laughs> should fucking come out. So then... They get on the hyper pole or rail, and uh, but the CEO <laughs> discovers there was a betrayal. Uh, bring in Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum comes in. Bring in my assistant who helped him, but he doesn't know the assistant did. Mm. He's like, "You're fired, Jeff Goldblum." And Jeff tries to do the speech. Um, I guess it was. This was so weird. It didn't really fun. Was right. He's trying to give a speech to everybody to rally, and they just kind of ignore him. Jeff Goldblum like, oh. has evidence. He's seen and he knows all the things. He could have just left at any time and like. T- Tore apart this whole company. The movie could end right yeah. there, and he's like, "Cool, I'm gonna tell the press." Right, yeah. but no, that, I guess not. And so then uh, they turn the power off because they see them in the fucking monorail, hyper rail, and it just so happens that the it loses power right in an area of the monorail where there's a uh, a small opening, and it just so happens that you can get there's, out. There's an amber cave in there. Who and, built and this shit? Cave. And it just so Did happens. Did not learn from the first? Five films. <laughs> and it just so happens that this is a cave with dinosaurs in it, too. So yeah. uh, basically, the precursors to the Komodo dragons are in there. And as they're trying to escape, uh, they start attacking. But it just so happens that these dinosaurs are much slower than all the other dinosaurs we've seen. So they really just go, ah, in really kind of bad They CGI scare you. They're just there for jump scare. Jump like, yeah, we got them. like one of those <laughs> Disney rides. <laughs> and they yeah. spring water comes out, goes, ah. <laughs> And then he's like, ee, ee, as it yeah. rolls back slowly. And it, and it just so happens that they get out of this area. They get to a uh, gate. They can't open. They get open. to a gate. They manage. They say, "Well, there's got to be access to these areas, even though you stopped the train in the middle of its track, as if every single square inch of the track has a place where you can get out." Okay, fine. And then they go, and it. Unfortunately, there's a barred gate, and they can't get it. And Jeff Goldblum shows up in a jeep. In a jeep. I thought for a minute. I said, "You know what's going to happen, Ben? He's going to uh, be driving the jeep, and they'll be injured, and he will drive them away from the T Rex, which is going to chase them, and he's going to look in the rearview mirror." That doesn't unfortunately happen. Instead, he shows up there, and there is a keypad there, and they're like, "I didn't know. Th- I didn't know there was a code. There was a code. Nobody told me of the code." And then so he's putting in the code, like, hurry up. and he puts in, I don't know, John coming. Bon Jovi's birthday, or I don't know, some weird shit. And, uh, and then it just so happens that the communications guy uh, sees them on one of the cameras uh, because he was monitoring the cameras. Uh, and then 
He puts in the code at the and he has same access time. to an like this is a thirty year old amber mine. Mm-hmm. He has access to remotely open this gate, and there happens to be a camera watching this amber like this it, this one this, gate. this one gate. And you're looking at the, the screen, and it's just and it like so happens. And he's like, dee, dee, dee. and then they okay. they exit and um, they escape that situation, um, and they crash. <laughs> they crash. Uh, what? The, the whole bunch of locusts escape. Okay, oh. so this was even uh, stupider. So okay. as this dumber. is happening, uh, the CEO uh, goes to evaluate, oh my gosh, they've stolen the things. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Delete so everything. Go, delete everything and burn it. Burn all the fucking locusts. Burn the evidence. So a flamethrower system burns all of the locusts, but it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, it just lights them on fire. Lights them on fire. Uh, but because they are hitting the wall so fast and rapidly, they manage to puncture a hole through the air duct system, which uh, leads all the way up and out of the facility. Um, and they are unleashed with a massive gust of Thousands air. Thousands of flaming locusts. And they are still on fire. They're not put out by the fire. They're not put out by flying. At all, uh, the, so they're completely and yes. th- and then and it's raining and locusts, then it's raining, raining fiery locusts fiery locust. for like thirty minutes, in and this all movie. the dinosaurs are like, "Motherfucker, not, not again! again. <laughs> We're gonna die!" The fucking asteroids on its way. <laughs> so yeah, Ian is driving all over this island. One bug manages to hit the hood. He's like, "Oh no, we hit the curb!" And it just so happens that we a bug, roll down. Yeah. 20 times. And then it just so happens that the <laughs> truck gets caught and they redo the scene from uh, the one of the <laughs> Jurassic Parks. And Everybody. they also meet up with the other Multiple team. Jurassic. The other hey, team. you're here. In the jungle. Oh, it oh, just thanks. so happens. I forgot about that one. Yeah, they roll down the hill. It's like, hey, you're here. So Let's which team it. joins with which team? The uh, Claire and the um, uh, Owen join with the... Uh, New crew, Alan. old crew. The old crew. Yep. And it just so happens. And then they find each other on the island, by the way. This entire After island, After he was driving way. for a while and <laughs> then rolls down the hill. Now he rolls down the hill and then just so happens that that's where they were. Anyways, um, <laughs> so that they, they that's, that thing gets broken and they exit. Uh, help me out here because I'm fucking. Then so they, get they get back to the of tree house. So happens. They had to go to a tree house. What? Remember they had to go to the big tree the house. Big, uh, the, the big the dinosaurs. The after big dinosaurs them. there. Oh, that's right. And then so okay. there, there's a the so there's a giga gig, giga tonto sore. The big rex uh, yeah. <laughs> fights uh, the T Rex for a few seconds and just shows its dominance. This dinosaur I actually knew about. I knew about the giga because I was like, whoa, T Rex is the biggest. No, he's not. He's not the biggest. There's bigger ones. Yeah, one was in like one of the other films, and then then there was the uh, genetic there's a, enhanced yeah, there's a weird, one, yeah, and one. then and then there's this one, but this one's the naturally occurring one that we get the big payoff. So. Yeah, because uh, right before they go into the treehouse, the big uh, T Rex shows up, and then the little girl's trying to climb up top. There's only one person. It's up a top. communications tower. That's what confused the me. The communication tower. There's only one person up top. The little girl tries to climb up. The T Rex grabs from the side, like, "Hurry, come on up." And then she finally the climbs up. Grabs the grabs the thing, pulls it out. on the outside, pulls it out, and then the, as if it's up. not strong enough. Yeah, she climbs up, and then as soon as she climbs up, the everybody's whole already team. on top. <laughs> That's what I was like. Wait, this editing doesn't make sense, right? Because the dinosaur literally just ripped that, and he's gonna go for more of the rest of the people. And, and then everyone's up. He the top tosses safely. the gate. That's the amount of time they had. He tossing the, the gate out of his teeth. But everybody has already gone up the ladder. I'm like, damn, them motherfuckers up. <laughs> this must have been like four hour long movie that they so had to cut So it just so happened down. that everybody got up it's on the game. Certain edits like that. It's like, wait uh-huh. a minute. And then, but, but see, it's for mass audience appeal. It's for, oh my God, it's, it's so close. Oh my God, it was so close. Oh my God, Owen, right behind you. And then the dinosaur is seen through the window and he crashes through the window trying to grab at Owen and it just barely misses Owen. And then it just so happens that Claire falls and slides toward us. Whoa, no, Claire! And then it just so happens that she uh, uh, grabs the electric and she does the electric while Owen is stabbing it with a knife. And... Um, He's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. And then what just ha- and then what happens? The gig starts <laughs> like, ah, fuck that. Yeah, he leaves. Stop stabbing me in the nose. And this bullshit. Is, this is where we get the master plan. I was like, all right, this is where we yeah, got to do. There's a helicopter here, but we have to turn on the space grid and we, we got to be- get we have to beta. Get, we have to go get beta. So we have to go back to the main office building. Mm-hmm. And then. Just so know. happens she knows how to fly helicopters as well yeah. at, uh, at a super advanced, cool looking. 
Telephone and then you blink and they're there. Like they don't. Yeah. The, like they're at a communications tower that's nowhere near, and you're like, oh, they have to go through tunnels. No, they don't really. They just kind of they end up in the main control room. I don't know where that is. <laughs> I'm here. And it's like we're here. Oh, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> cool. Like, right, just so cool. happens. Turn off the power. Um, like, All right, which one? But wait a minute. Uh, keep going. Okay. And so they get there. So, but they split up. They, they split, split up, up into multiple different teams because right. splitting up is always the right thing sure. to do. We're gonna. I do this and you do that, and that's when we gotta uh, kill the main says, power. I gotta find for the secondary uh, for the Blues ADS child, yeah. and, and then you have to do power for the ADS. Yep. So uh, while we're doing power for the ADS, what happens in that that one? Uh, it's the two girls, Claire and uh, Ellie. 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 They go mm-hmm. over there. It's like, oh, no one's gonna tell me there's bugs here because there's all the Indiana Jones. Bugs. That's the Indiana Jones part. But they're all dead bugs. They're no, still they're kind of moving dead. around, yeah, so they're, they're like, possible. all right, what's the button? Then they press the button, and then Jeff Goldblum does a very poor job of explaining. He says, he do the f- third green button down, and this it's like, motherfucker just, say, just E1. say E1. Just okay. say E1. You press the button, and then shit goes crazy. These mm-hmm. zombie grasshoppers come back to life after yes. being charred, and, yeah. then and they start attacking them. Uh-huh. But the power comes but back did on. did you see their fucking Jedi skill? just so happens <laughs> that uh, the scientists are able to... Use a small fucking electrode in order to knock them out of the air simultaneously every single approach. You should see them in the background. They are like literally Jedi fucking masters. And the crowd's going, that must be why that guy was like a little Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then I clap. <laughs> yeah. The power comes back on, though, because hitting the button didn't do anything. Laura no. Dern, Dr. It- Ellie Sadler. Jedi. Becomes a Jedi and, and, and knocks all these... Uh, flaming fucking locusts out. And meanwhile, uh, we are looking for the uh, oh, baby that's, raptor. That's not over. Right? And really oh, important no, go, part go happens. Ahead, go ahead. The power comes back on. Forgot about that. P- hitting the button apparently didn't work, and they don't know why. Yeah. And so, the one that is not a doctor uh-huh. goes and grabs a metal axe. Oh, that's And right. just starts looking at electrical wires and goes a really heavy duty electrical conduit and goes, yeah. "I'm gonna hold this metal axe." And I'm gonna start hitting and these wires. Says, Fuck I'm gonna blow up the power to this the, facility the very with this thing metal that axe. We just came down here to do. Um, I will destroy. Yeah, and so they you, they they hack at the wires with the axe, and it that, works. And, it and works. that they just happen to be the it's right just, wires. That felt really good. Yeah, and the uh, and um, then they go hunt what? a dinosaur in the movie. Ends. Crowd pleaser, and then everybody laughs. But then, uh, so the, meanwhile, we have um, Alan Grant, Owen, and can we the start girl. calling him stupid Owen? Yeah, and and uh, Gran is like, like you always check your cor- check your corners, check your sides, because we don't want to have a clever girl situation. So it's, all right, cool. And the uh, this they they find them. Uh, they they turn off all the lights. The little baby comes, and and then the stupid Owen has already done this five times. I rolled then it goes my went eyes. to eight times because not only out of nowhere Owen's gonna do this, but out of nowhere the little girl jumps. And hey, you listen to me. Fed him peanut butter. As soon once. as it happened, I turned into the fucking Undertaker. Fucking my eyes turned white. I was like, oh. I, I, I went to my girl. I was like, what the? She's like, no, yeah. did I listen to Owen? What are we going to do? I was like, please don't. Please don't. They did they it. They did it. The they little girl it. has the Jedi power, hey. too. <laughs> and then not only does the little girl have the Jedi power, but also Dr. Alan Grant has the Jedi power. And they do this thing where it's like, okay, I'm doing it. And then Alan's doing it. And then Owen is pointing the gun. And he's kind of doing it, and then they they move in a try, a Jedi try, because I hate life. And then <laughs> and then he shoots the uh, the little baby Beta mm-hmm. and with the trank dart, trank gun, because they got the he made a promise. Yeah. To strapped a to the straps him to the back. Uh, they all meet back up, and uh, that's when as they're about to exit on the helicopters, so like, no, yeah. you can't land here because we programmed all no, the no, dinosaurs. No, no. Uh, we get the we get the scientist dude. Um, B.D. Wong uh, And he's like Hey I've been here the whole time uh, Can you take me with you And they're like No fuck this guy This guy's behind every single one With yeah. Jeff He is He is um, And he's like well, Yeah but I can like Cure the world With uh, I can you know, kill these locusts I can kill these locusts I'll release one And then we'll talk to the other one Or it'll spread to the other ones And in one generation uh, Everything will be fixed So they're like Oh fine Whatever Come with us And um, And then That's when Joe yeah, so after that, they're like, oh, don't land here because uh, we have it programmed. Just so happens that he was there. We have the programmed all the dinosaurs, because mm-hmm. he, I guess, put a chip or something, mm-hmm. to uh, return to the main stage. But only the three dangerous dinosaurs. 
Yeah. Why would you so do that? So it just Why? so happens that the three most dangerous dinosaurs are in there with all the other fucking dinosaurs. Um, not restrained or anything, just, you know, roaming around. Why? What? And they have a fight as they are trying to get to the helicopter. The T-Rex shows up. Yeah, and the audience claps. And the audience didn't clap, but you know what I mean. That's one of those moments we were supposed to be. Uh, but then, oh, no, the Giga... No, it was the Giga one that showed up, and then the T-Rex shows up to save them, as he always does. For round old, two. This was round old two. Old Faithful. This is round two, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it bites him on the nose like the other guy did to him in the last fight, uh, but ultimately loses. And gets his butt kicked, and uh, this big, heavy, fucking uh, multi-ton uh, beast uh, is somehow being held up by a little bit of concrete uh, as our character. Well, Claire was holding it, too. You oh, Claire, yeah, yeah. She's strong. I forgot. She's this, she's very strong, and she's also <laughs> a secret agent, and she also knows parkour, and she oh, also yeah. <laughs> she knows what wires to chop with an axe. And she also is a very uh, amazing hacker. Anyways, um, <laughs> so then that then then uh, oh, oh we get another twist: the bird, uh, the real the dinosaur, claws. who's even more pure in dinosaur. And Stabby the big knife hand shows up. Shows up, and and remember, this guy's just a fucking jerk, uh, and so he wants to establish his dominance, and they fight. Um, but he's not able to do it, and then we zoom in on the T-Rex eye, and he opens his eye, and then the T-Rex gets involved, and this is like literally just reminding me of like the previous movies, like the the two creatures defeat the other creature, and then these two creatures defeat this creature. So the T-Rex rams the Giga the into the... Di- just waiting there. He's just waiting there. He's like, let's do it, tag it's team. Like, fucking tag team. It turns into <laughs> WrestleMania. <laughs> He pushes him into the clouds. I mean, this is so the yeah, part that I came for, I guess, it. because they feel I like. I rather see stupid shit like yeah. that. No, I was I'm like, with oh, you. Come on. I'm with you. But this is the. But it's so contrived because they have to do this at the end of every fucking one. Yeah. But okay, fine. So then it's he slams into it, impales him, and then him and the T Rex roar, and they're best buds. Yep. They don't fight because they're, they're alphas, and they were just trying to establish dominance. But, but they're, they don't co- fight. they're co-alphas. They're co-alphas. Yeah. Gotcha. Two kings. The hand old hand. and the new. Uh, like yeah. the old, old, and then the new, the old, old, and then the even older, older, who is actually the feathers, which is probably the real dinosaurs. Well, it's a, it's an alley. <laughs> it's, it's important Cross because the T Rex represents the old team, Alan Grant, and Stabby McNife hands represents oh. the new team, no, working no. together to defeat Biosyn, the no, true the evil. You're thinking way no. too uh, much into what? this goddamn what? movie. Because <laughs> dinosaurs teach you about. Oh, yourself. also, I want to re- make sure that you guys know this. Um, uh, Claire, the fucking idiot Claire, she walks up to this multi-trillion-dollar corporation that's con- currently running the world's pharmaceuticals and defense through dinosaur stuff. She walks up to their computer system and goes, "Hey, they use the same theme park." Operating system that we used. Yes. Yeah. Uh, completely that's how different. She, that's how she can hack yeah. them because. Oh, by the way, that that and and everybody was empty. There, that was there. Nobody stayed behind. You know, yeah. so they were able to but use the, that the command Biosyn center. Uses theme park. Biosyn uses system. the exact same operating system. And uh, why change it if it's not broken? Oh sure. wait, it was broken. Yeah, it was broken. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole point of the <laughs> movies. They just use the same. System. Shit. <laughs> we'll do it right this time. Um, so then they finally fly away, yeah, and the then helicopter. they get the little closure. Uh, everyone's getting their medical detention, and then uh, Ellie's like, I gotta go to the news. We have the grasshopper thing, and Biosyn is bullshit. Do you wanna come with but me, they Ellen? They don't need the yeah, day anymore. And though. he says, Yes, and so they kiss. So yes, finally, what everybody wanted to see these two together and ship, they will finally be together. They're gonna kick the camera, but hopefully, we're all right. So the, the old, old guard is together, new guard is together. They've got a daughter now. And, and then they, they, go ret- they go make some s'mores, but before that, they go return Beta to Blue. And Jeff goes, He's that's like, hey. a big pile of shit. He's like, here's your baby that I promised you. All right. They high five at the end. That's mm-hmm. right. I remember that part. <laughs> right. Very high five. five. Thank well, you, no, man. first Blue walks away like a fucking ungrateful asshole. Right? But then, but then, just as he's about to close the car door, Blue comes back, high fives him, we gives him an ancient pirate <laughs> flintlock, and then... Fucking, <laughs> fucking amazing! <laughs> <laughs> and the audience clapped. They just clapped. And it was amazing. <laughs> there, there Brown is. Brown don't promises. do not stay for the end credits because there's no end credits. They're ending this shit. Uh, budget uh, 165 million. Um, 
Oh my god! Originally, that I was, was really mad though. at the parents that brought their kids that wouldn't shut the fuck up for the first ten minutes, and then I realized yeah. that this movie was punishment for that kid. So I was like, "Good." Yeah, there were uh, several kids at, at the four p.m. showing. I look, and... kids in movies totally fine. Just yeah. you know, keep them quiet. That kid was not quiet yeah. for uh, a while. You know, to, to guys, if you if you're not in a rush, this is not one. If you haven't seen Tom Top Gun, we highly recommend that one over there. If you haven't oh, seen Man, sure. go see that and over this. In fact, this actual this film is scheduled to come out on VO. Uh, at four months after its release, oh, you it's just a part of it. some kind of deal. Or, or it's a, you're not missing much. Just don't ever watch it. Just and then go. it'll move to Amazon Prime for ten months, and then it'll go back to Peacock. So it goes to Peacock, and then it goes to Prime, and then <laughs> a lot of licensing going on here. Um, Skip. It's yeah, it's it's not good. Uh, you have to turn your brain off. And in a, in a cer- in a small way, I'm glad that they did. No. I'm sorry, because they were gonna pay off the, the the dinosaurs in 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 the real world, and that was stupid. But they they kind of ignored that. It was That's done was stupidly, was like, and we go back to it. the island and we do the island shit, the very same thing that we did, only with so many more dumb ass contrivances. Yeah, at the end of the day, nothing really changes. They just right. solve one plot with the stupid grasshoppers, yeah. but the dinosaurs are still around. And T-Rex is still roaming around. This is four years later <laughs> after. So, so nothing has been <laughs> resolved. <laughs> nothing has been resolved. Um, so yeah. well. I, I kept waiting for a fucking Blue to show up somehow. I was like, how the fuck did Blue get over here? Blue runs to Italy. Blue runs to Italy <laughs> and save everybody and fight the rides, Giga Rides up in another T-Rex. dirt bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jet ski. <laughs> right. They rode the dirt. The, the Raptor's riding the dirt bike. <laughs> Anyways, that's it, guys. I have to break this up into two videos. Yes. So thank you uh, for watching our extended spoilers discussion. And sticking and around down, with all the ridiculousness. Down, down vote, down vote. <laughs> that's all you want. Hey, I like that movie. It's great. Great for you. Good for you, my man. Uh, but it's over now, so that's it. Thank you, guys. So for the rest of you, we had fun uh, making fun of it and talking. Yes. It. And and I cannot wait for future YouTube videos that break down scene by scene because I want there to be a counter I'm looking forward of to how it. many yes. fucking contrivances and, and right. conveniences there are because <laughs> it is astronomical. Yes. And it broke my suspension of disbelief. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And we will see you on the... And that's that's a damn shame because Jurassic Park was one of those films that really... Ha- you had your suspension of disbelief. You believed the dinosaurs were real. That's how fucking amazing it was. By the end of the series, your suspension is so fucking broken. And they literally do not give a shit. And it just runs out of steam, and then it ends. Yeah, I hate that when we and get that in the comments. Some in the comments right now, it's like, but Joe, they've always been silly. They've always been like this. The that's thing what is, I'm. The, the, that's the, why the, I said yeah, that, the, Alex. But the rest of the movie yep. was put together so much better that I'm not knocked out of the movie, and I'm along for the ride. This, you knock me out immediately with how stupid everything yes. is that that I don't believe anything. <laughs> Uh, oh. I just see the thumbnail for skyscraper. We have Alex standing, and I said, "We're like <laughs> <laughs> climbing skyscraper." You remember skyscraper? Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking terrible. terrible. Like we're gonna do Die Hard. You're gonna fail. Anyways, hopefully skyscraper uh, Black Adam is better than skyscraper. All right. Anyways, that was what. Uh, so thank you so much for yes. hanging out with us. We will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.